the city group that's shifting its focus now to wealth management and will go away from retail banking in places where it is small. The global financial institution City Group will exit 13 global consumer banking markets, including India. Imagine you have a bank account with Citibank, one of India's oldest and largest foreign banks. You've been using their services for years and are happy with their products and customer care. But one day, you receive an email from them saying that they are shutting down their consumer banking operations in India and that you'll have to transfer your funds to another bank or close your account. How would you feel? Shocked? Angry? Confused? This is not a hypothetical scenario but a reality for millions of Citibank customers in India who were informed on April 15, 2021 that the US-based banking giant is exiting the retail banking business in India and 12 other countries. This means that Citibank will no longer offer services like savings accounts, credit cards, personal loans, mortgages, and wealth management to customers in these markets. Instead, it will focus on its institutional clients, such as corporations, governments, and financial institutions. But why did Citibank decide to leave India, a country where it has been operating for more than a century and has a strong brand presence and loyal customer base? What are the implications of this move for the Indian banking sector and the economy? And what are the options for the existing Citibank customers affected by this decision? In this video, we will try to answer these questions and more as we explore the reasons and consequences of Citibank's exit from India. Citibank is a foreign bank in India with 35 branches across 19 cities, serving over 2.9 million retail customers and 6,000 small and medium enterprises. It is known for its innovation and technology leadership in the Indian banking industry, including products like ATMs, credit cards, online banking, mobile banking, biometric authentication, and contactless payments. Citibank's consumer banking business in India has a balance sheet of Rs 2.18 lakh crore, about $29 billion, making it the third largest among foreign banks in India after HSBC and Standard Chartered. It also has a deposit base of Rs 1.57 lakh crore, about $21 billion, and a loan book of Rs 66,507 crore, about $9 billion. Citibank's credit card segment is especially strong, with over 29 lakhs, 2.9 million cards in force and a market share of around 6%. Citibank is also a leader in wealth management services, catering to emerging affluent and high net worth individuals. With such impressive numbers and performance, it may seem surprising that Citibank decided to exit its consumer banking business in India. However, several factors may have influenced this decision. Let us look at some of them. Lack of scale Citigroup CEO Jane Fraser cited lack of scale as the reason for exiting retail banking in 13 countries. Citibank's consumer banking in India contributed only 0.6% of global revenues and 0.2% of global profits in 2020. Regulatory Constraints The regulatory environment limited Citibank's growth in India. The RBI imposes restrictions on foreign banks such as maintaining a higher capital adequacy ratio and complying with priority sector lending norms. Expanding branch networks is also challenging due to the approval process and licensing policy. Strategic Shift Citibank is exiting India to focus on wealth management and institutional businesses in Asia, which offer higher returns. Citigroup plans to invest more in its private bank and digital platforms to serve wealthy individuals and corporate clients. Competitive Pressure a fourth factor that may have played a role in Citibank's exit from India was the increasing competition from domestic and foreign banks. In the past decade, India has seen the emergence of new generation private sector banks such as HDFC Bank, ICICI Bank, and Kotak Mahindra Bank, which have grown rapidly and captured a significant market share in the retail banking segment. These banks have leveraged their technology, innovation, customer service, and distribution network to offer individual customers a wide range of products and services. They have also attracted and retained customers by offering competitive interest rates, fees, and rewards. In addition, some foreign banks such as DBS Bank and Standard Chartered Bank have also expanded their presence and offerings in India, especially in the digital space.
Global trends A fifth factor that may have influenced Citibank's exit from India was the global trend of consolidation and rationalization in the banking industry. After the 2008 global financial crisis, many banks worldwide have been restructuring their businesses and portfolios to reduce costs, risks, and complexity. They have also been exiting or downsizing their operations in markets where they cannot achieve scale or profitability. For instance, HSBC has announced plans to exit or reduce its presence in 39 markets, including France, Greece, Turkey, and the US. Deutsche Bank has sold its credit card business in India to Indus Ind Bank and exited its equity trading business globally. Standard Chartered has sold its asset management business in India and closed some branches. The exit of Citibank from India will have significant implications for the Indian banking sector and the economy. Some of the possible impacts are Loss of a trusted brand Citibank has been a trusted and respected brand in India for over a century. It has been associated with quality, innovation, and customer satisfaction. It has also pioneered introducing new products and services to the Indian market. The exit of Citibank will leave a void in the Indian banking landscape, especially for its loyal customers who have been using its services for years. Opportunity for other players The exit of Citibank will also create an opportunity for other players in the Indian banking sector to acquire or attract its customers and assets. According to some reports, Citibank is looking for buyers for its consumer banking business in India, which could fetch around $6 billion. Some of the potential suitors include HDFC Bank, Kotak Mahindra Bank, Axis Bank, ICICI Bank, DBS Bank, Standard Chartered Bank, and Indus Ind Bank. These banks could benefit from acquiring Citibank's customer base, loan portfolio, credit card business, wealth management assets, and branch network. Boost for Digital Banking Citibank's exit will also boost digital banking in India, as more customers will shift to online and mobile platforms for their banking needs. Citibank has been a leader in digital banking in India, with over 90% of its transactions happening through digital channels. It has also invested heavily in developing its digital capabilities and infrastructure. The exit of Citibank will force its customers to look for alternative digital options, which could benefit other banks with strong digital offerings. Impact on Economy Citibank's exit will also impact the Indian economy, especially on the foreign direct investment FDI inflows and outflows. Citibank has been one of India's largest sources of FDI, having invested over $20 billion in various sectors. It has also been one of the largest facilitators of FDI outflows from India, having helped Indian companies raise funds and make acquisitions abroad. The exit of Citibank may affect these flows to some extent. What are the options for the existing Citibank customers affected by this decision? We hope this video has helped you understand why Citibank is exiting India and what are the implications and options for its customers. If you have any questions or comments, please share them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting videos on banking and finance topics. See you in the next video!